if general practice is the bedrock of the NHS, which it is, then we need to have a, a general practice workforce that is able to be able to, to, deal, with, uh, uh, to deal with the changes and some radical changes that have already taken place and we're in the midst of it. The main workforce challenge is, is with is two really. There's, if I could split it into two sides, there's the training side and that is actually getting the right jobs um, for the, the scheme so that people do appropriate hospital jobs in their 18 months hospital medicine which are relevant and are of good enough standard to prepare them to become a general practitioner. Um, the other problem on the training side is just have, finding sufficient training places in practices. Um, although we have 550 trainers um, in my part of the world, um, we still find it very difficult to find sufficient places for everybody to train. We need to make general practice more attractive. Why are people not wanting to go into, into partnerships or even into salaried uh, jobs? A lot of them are settling for doing locums uh, because they don't know the future of, of, of their job role. Uh, we're fortunate in the NHS because we have standardised data sets and these have been put to fantastic use in the construction of this model. So for me as an expert in human resource management, the opportunity to see a really good piece of workforce planning was, was great. I really enjoyed it. I think the NHS as a whole is going through massive reform and a lot of that's going to fall to primary care with the changes to the, the way um, healthcare is commissioned. That coupled with the changing demographic that primary care is having to manage, so the ageing population and the increased number of long-term conditions that they have, those are the main challenges. And GPs would probably say to you, having to deliver more with less. I think looking forward, clearly we have a big demographic challenge ahead and what we're going to need to do is to reconfigure, redesign together a model of general practice which can be as much about uh, health promotion, prevention of disease as looking after the inevitable increasing burden of long-term conditions. Delivering primary care isn't all about what GPs can deliver. Um, I think general practice has to be considered as a workforce that delivers the care that's needed by the local population and that can be delivered. Um, I think nurses have a role to play and they deliver a different part of the healthcare agenda. We know currently that practice nurses deliver 70% of the quality and outcomes framework in general practice. So I think if we're looking at what workforce is needed in the future, we need to focus on um, who can best deliver that in within the funding envelope that's available and nurses and healthcare assistants have a big part to play in that. We have to start by how, seeing how we can change the workload of general practice so that they can be more satisfied with what they're doing and appreciate the outcomes of delivering, but also in terms of how can we make it better for them to help them deliver some of the, some of the outcomes for us from a, a CCG point of view.